Today is my wife, my wife's, my wife Rose's birthday. She, she's 40 years old. She looks like she's 20. She's 25 years younger than me. Am I the luckiest guy in the world or what? What a, what a beautiful, loyal, she's very loyal. I don't have to worry about her, you know, going behind my back or anything. You know, she's beautiful, she's loyal, she's intelligent. That's everything you want in a woman right there. Beauty, loyalty, okay, not someone cheating behind your back or running around. And then, you know, you, most, most women, you know, let's just say, the, be the beautiful ones usually aren't the brightest ones. But she's super smart. I mean, she's gotten all the code done and for the back end for the W system. Um, and uh, she just came up with it. You know, she literally designed the website with this other guy. She learned how to do all that stuff. Uh, she runs the office here now. She's not always here. Sometimes she's in Taiwan. But believe me, when she's here, she runs it great. She's got the entire system of how we do our record keeping for the FDA. And, you know, she's just fantastic. So to my wife, Rose, happy birthday. I got her a little balloon here. And, and yeah. So um, happy birthday, Rose, and I am the luckiest guy in the world. One of the things I like to say all the time, of course, I've been saying it for many, many years now. We got married in, in 2012. And... Um, and the reason we got married, we got married in St. John's in the courthouse. And the reason was is because um, we wanted to have a big Catholic wedding. Well, that's a nightmare trying to get an annulment for me from my first marriage. And she's a Catholic. And, um, you know, she, was, she came back in uh, one time, about the third time she was here. Um, she, um, you know, came into the airport in Detroit and pulled all the these Asian girls aside, including her, and said, you're prostitutes and we're going to send you back. Because, see, they, they actually watch the border when they want to watch the border. They don't just open up the border. Right now we have literally tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands of people coming over the southern border into Texas and Arizona and all these places. They just let that happen. But you want to come here on a plane the legal way? Now they want to know who you are, and then they're going to accuse you and put you on a plane and put you right back out there. And at the time she says, my boyfriend's right back out there. He's, he's right there. In fact, it's my fiance. So if she was going to leave the country and come back in, we couldn't risk it. They weren't going to let her back in. So she had a card from LCC, Lansing Community Co College, an ID, and that's how she got into the country. And she says, look, my boyfriend, and she was, my fiance is right out there. They don't care. No, they don't want to talk to me. They refused to come out and say, who is this person and who are you? And you know, I could have shown him a business card and said I'm an owner of my own business. No, we don't want to do any of that stuff, no. So you wonder why people are just so distrustful of the federal government and the state government at every single level. This is why. This is why. So we had to run out and get married. Otherwise, because she's wanted to leave the country again. So now we're married, and that's how we end up getting married. But anyway, the luckiest day of my life was really meeting her. That's the luckiest day. And the first thing I said, you guys out there, I'll tell you something. The first thing I said to her was, you know, I only knew like five words in Chinese, and I said, Pia Liao. That's, you're beautiful. So that's what, you just want to cut to the chase. I mean, we're there with my friends Bill and Grace. Grace was just a nut job. She was a lying piece of crap. But Bill is still my friend, Bill Wang over, in, he was a salesman for Yishan, uh, the water ionizer company. So he introduced us. And we went to a James Bond movie, so that's really good. You know, you start off with Quantum of Solace, you know, real James Bond movie. Now they ruined it, so, um, you know, with all this politically crap crap. They gave, you know, James Bond is a, uh, 007 is a black woman now. Oh, okay, a black woman can do exactly what a man can do. Well, every time, you know. <clears throat> I mean, I'm a third degree black belt in ta Taekwondo, and you better be a really, really, really tough woman to be able to beat me in, in a, you know, in a, in a fight, okay? And that's just me. I'm not, you know, <laughs> I'm not one of these martial artists that's been doing it. And, you know, I'm not Bruce Lee. So, um, but I'm pretty good. I'm not the guy you want to mess with anyway. Well, anyway, so uh, we went to that movie. I said, you're beautiful. And you know what? We've been together ever since. And she became a Catholic for me. She won't go to church with me, but she, she's gone many times. So anyway, here's to Rose. What the best woman ever, ever. Rose, Rose Lynn, Laura Lynn was her name, until she became Rose. Her first name was Cherry. I said, 
Cherry Lynn, I think that's the name of a porn actress. <laughs> she has a good sense of humor. She laughed. I said, you don't want Cherry. That's not good. We'll give you, how about Rose? That's my mother's name. Okay, Rose. So Rose, it has always been Rose. So luckiest day, and to my wife, and I love her so much, and she is the best ever. Thank you, Rose. August 30th, 2022. And you know, my dad's birthday would was tomorrow, would have been tomorrow. So they've got a connection there. And my mother and Rose, they would have loved each other. You know, they're such, there's so much alike, you know, in so many ways. Anyway, to my Rose. 